Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Miscellaneous Pleasures. Um, before I say absolutely anything, like uh, I'm not really sure how the audio of this is going to be like. Like I did run a few couple of test runs, but then I mean I was satisfied then, but then you know I'm kind of skeptical about it. Uh, I mean I have been having some technical issues in the past couple of days. Actually, more than past couple of days, actually been like three to four days. Ever since I did the uh, Wonder Vision finale reaction, like I have been having troubles. I thought that it was my audio issue. I thought then it was my video issue. I then sort of tried to correct it and sort of messed up everything and like tried other platforms, like nothing worked. Like it has been an absolute nightmare. But then I have got back to a stable sort of version right now. So I'm pretty sure that this should work properly. But then if it doesn't, then it would suck. But then here we are. Um, so the thing is, um, like before I say anything further, uh, I mean, this is of course, you know, welcome to the reaction of Dark season two, episode four. But then before I actually talk about season two, episode four, I actually wanted to address something. Uh, and this is actually one of the comments that I got in one of my videos. I think it was season two, episode two's video, uh, where, you know, I will obviously show the screen and discuss about it. Before that, the pretext or sort of the, how to say, a background to this discussion is just that I actually wanted to address this at some point of time, but then I'm addressing it now because, you know, I expected this sort of an issue to come up and this is something that I personally was facing and I was sort of like, I wouldn't say struggling with it, but then I was sort of contemplating the sort of effects of this. And so yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah, this is the episode. But this is the thing that I actually wanted to. Yeah. Uh, hey, this is me. Uh, this is Dark Season Two Episode Two's video, and this is the comment section of it. Uh, the thing is, so there was this guy who commented this, right? Uh, he actually commented something else on uh, my Episode Eight or Episode Nine's reaction. Uh, something about, uh, I don't actually remember what he commented, but then this is the whole plot. The thing is, he actually was, uh, I remember saying this in the episode two's reaction about the songs that are there in the show, where, you know, I said basically that, you know, it's kind of interesting, weird, and sort of unexpected in a way that a German show would have an English, like every episode would have an English song in it rather than a German one, if, even if they wanted a BGM for, you know, creative purposes. Uh, so I, I remember saying that, and to that he has mentioned that, you know, it has an international audience, it's a Netflix show, so obviously they are, you know, trying to cover everybody, which makes sense. But the main point here is what he says about the doc, direction, and how, like, uh, I sort of did not include that part that happened in season two, episode two, where, you know, these, uh, actually, uh, I think it happened way back in season one, but then, you know, it was a part where basically we realized that it's old Claudia was the reason that the younger Claudia got the dot. And apparently it was some sort of a plot hole that people thought at the time. And when this sort of a scene came up, they realized that it wasn't a plot hole, but then something that the, <coughs> that the creative team, the show creators, all those people had actually planned. And uh, the thing is, I do not actually remember saying something about the dog. Like I never really thought about the fact that the dog could not time travel on its own. But then I obviously had said something about it in my reaction of I think season one, episode eight or episode nine, whenever this happened. I think it was episode eight uh, where this happened. And I sort of like, you know, I think I mentioned there that, you know, how did the dog travel back or travel forward or where it traveled. Like, did the dog even travel? Like, how did that happen? But the interesting thing is that, uh, you know, I don't remember saying it. And this is something that I notice with other shows and other sort of reactions as well. The interesting thing is that I don't remember it. And I wonder why. And one of the reasons I came up with is that <clears throat> under normal situation, let's say I'm, I'm not doing YouTube and stuff like that. Let's say I'm just a normal, you know, normal human being watching normal TV shows and stuff. So let's say I'm watching Dark, right? As a normal person, I would probably finish three seasons. I think there are about 26, 28 episodes. I'll finish them in 
one week, possibly max max two weeks. But right now, I have taken about three months of time to get through fourteen or thirteen episodes of the show, which is essentially once per week. Uh, what happens in these two different scenarios is that in scenario one, you because you binge watch everything, and also because you're not doing a YouTube reaction, you don't sort of pause the video and sort of react upon something or ask some question or you know do something like that. You never pause the video to think about anything. You rarely do that when you're binge watching. But then while I'm doing YouTube, I have to sort of pause because that's the whole point of this. I am. This is a YouTube reaction channel, essentially, apart from the football stuff and cricket stuff. So, if I'm not going to react to something, then it sort of becomes bland. And you know, why would anybody want to watch that? And if I don't pause the video and still have happen to react, then I would miss stuff. So that sort of like uh, you know the balancing act. And what that means is, uh, like what that also means is that I don't. Get to binge watch any show like Dark or Stranger Things or something, and what that means is I have taken so much amount of time to finish so little amount of episodes, so much so that I sort of forget what happened in the episodes. And in this scenario, it's not even that; it's that I have forgotten what I said myself few weeks back, which is interesting, which is weird, which is something that I've never really experienced. So yeah, I did want to point that out. Uh, another thing is that. I mean, which is sort of related to this. Let's say I uh, I'm going to do episode four of season two, right? Let's say something interesting happens, some sort of a you know something that provokes a sort of question or something, and I pause and I talk about it, and the episode finishes. I sort of talk about all the things that happened. I you know finish the reaction. I go back. I do whatever I'm doing with my personal life, whatever, and. If this episode is really good, then it still remains in my mind. I am still thinking about certain things that happened in the show, and what happens is it has happened to me before, especially with Dark, because this episode, this TV series, has so many things happening with it. So there are so many questions, so many things that are happening. You're thinking of a lot of things. So what happens is, uh, you know, let me give an example of season one. Let's say. Season one, where we discover that you know time travel exists and that Mitchell is back. So I remember I don't I don't think I said much about you know all these things time travel and its implications and stuff. But I remember one day I was thinking how like uh, I was actually talking to a friend of mine and we were talking like a rough, absolutely like bonkers time travel theories, not related to dark, but then general time travel sort of things. And it sort of reminded me about this show, uh, and I was thinking of all these things, all these paradoxes where you know future self meets the past self, and uh, you know all the paradoxes that arise and all those type of things. And I remember thinking something along the lines of, "What if you know somebody that we are seeing in this world is actually related to somebody else because of time travel? Like they are a time child, if that makes any sense." Which we know now that it's true because Mikkel is Jonas's father, which makes the family tree a bit sort of weird. But then at the time we did not know that. Uh, but then these things come came, came to my mind, and I sort of thought about it, and I completely forgot about it because I don't remember like which episode this was. But then the next couple of episodes, I did not make them like immediately. I made them like few days later, which meant that by the time I was making that reaction, I completely forgot about this train of thought. And these thoughts come to me like a lot of thoughts come to me like this for almost every single episode. And by the time I begin the next reaction, I sort of completely forget them. So you know, so that's sort of a peril of all of this. So, anyways, that's sort of what I wanted to talk about because I felt like it was interesting that at least uh, at some point of time I expected somebody to point this out that I had sort of mentioned something in the past and I did not like. Talk or think about it again in the sort of future episodes, and especially I expected it to happen with this type of show where it's so rich in content and uh, sort of discussion points, if you may, uh, which is sort of you know blow the thing wide open. And yeah, so this was a conversation like I've already shown this once. I'm going to show it again. So you were also mentioning something about you know the dark time travel, and this sort of reminded me that. 
how did mikkel time travel like we, we we never have been told that right as far as i can remember i don't think we have been told about how mikkel time traveled we know that he did obviously because he ended up in 86 uh but then like if he knew the route then why didn't he go back like that sort of a question that i had but then never really addressed it or talked about it in the sort of reactions because a lot of things do happen in an episode you sort of forget other things and focus on what's actually happening so yeah uh okay this should not be happening right so now that i've actually addressed that uh, let's get back to this react this episode's uh, sort of you know season 2 episode 4 uh the thing is okay i don't need this anymore so let's talk about what happened in the last episode uh what happened in the last episode uh, wow no a kill claudia so yeah that happened and yeah in the la- the last scene he sort of went uh, he was reading the pages of that book the missing pages and he went claudia which sort of i do remember saying that maybe he is the father so yeah maybe he is the father but then that did not really help any cause because i couldn't figure out who the mother could be because there's literally no person i can think of who could be the mother so that's going to be interesting uh tron the uh, yeah we had those weird scenes uh, tron the was sort of you know showing his man parts to claudia so i don't think that's going to make any difference because we already know that they had a relationship or an affair like back in season 1 i mean we knew that so there's nothing really you know new about it no uh, brother of agnes yeah that's a revelation that we got i was for the longest time i was saying that no i was agnes his husband turns out he's the brother uh so that happened we also had claudia meeting egon yeah sorry yeah she she kept on saying sorry right she kept on apologizing and then uh, who are egon he came to his house talked to his younger version of his daughter and then she also said the same thing about how he was a good man and stuff like that and he thought that the person he had met earlier in the precinct was a witch i if i'm not mistaken or something like that uh yeah last episode was pretty good yeah i do remember it mm and then yeah uh, this is something that i addressed in the last episode's reaction as uh, like uh, i already addressed it then uh by text but i'm going to say it out loud because okay i feel like i should egon is not added like i said this uh as a sort of uh you know i thought that egon was added because i thought But the last sentence that Eva uh, that Adam said in episode three, uh, he said something like, "Everybody gets what they deserve" or something. And for some reason, I thought that it was what Eva had said in the episode or in an earlier ep- or in an earlier episode. Turns out it was actually Ulrich who had said it to uh, to Eva. Uh, but then you know we know that there is no way Ulrich is Adam. Like that wouldn't even make sense face wise. Uh, at least. Egon being Adam would sort of be can be explainable face wise, but then even that wouldn't because that would mean that Egon became uh, Adam, and he found out about time travel and suddenly decided to kill people. Till now, there has been no indication of that. And secondly, Adam and Claudia seem to be on different sides. Like, how can Egon and Claudia be on different sides? Like, that doesn't make sense. Like, talking about this is just pointless because. That is a stupid theory that I came up with. I think it was the wrong sort of evidence in my mind. Ah, uh, so yeah, let's get into this episode because I have a feeling it's going to give some questions and answers like the last three episodes have. So yeah, here we go. Hey, what? What's he doing here? 
Okay, so he has discovered Alexander's gun, which he has. Bestes. Das ist kompliziert. Mama, warum hast du das? Soll ich uns was zum Frühstück machen? I mean, that's the typical kind of response, like just. We start under the uh, blanket, guys. Come on. There's no need to talk about it. It's just a gun in the house. Wenn ich jetzt der Babysitter wäre und ihr herummacht, oder was? Warum hast du nur überhaupt mitgebracht? Meine Eltern sind seit zwei Tagen gar nicht mehr zu Hause. Ich kann sie doch nicht einfach allein lassen. Okay, so everybody's parents have just disappeared from their lives. That's... Wieso benehmen sich alle so komisch? That's... Wow. Why does everybody in the show wake up like this? Like honestly. Du hast fast 24 Stunden geschlafen. Yes. That's Noah. So this day, so come on. You already played the music. Yeah, that's Noah. Come on. Die Leute sagen, dass Erna zu keinem streunenden Hund nein sagen kann. Ich bin auf der Suche nach jemandem. Sie hat hier früher gearbeitet. Ist schon eine Weile her. This is completely unrelated. I am pausing for a very sort of uh, something that I guess. Uh, yeah, it's just weird. Uh, I was just thinking about it. Like, you know, this show happens to have like five different timelines, right? 1921, 54, 53, whatever. 86, 87, then you have the 2020, and then you have the 2053. So, uh one thing that's like i mean never really addressed in time travel shows 
seem to be fair i've seen a bit of this being addressed in the legends legends of tomorrow but then very sort of sporadically and sort of like they don't do that all that well and even in doctor who i don't really specifically remember them doing this well the one thing that sort of comes to my mind in time travel shows is like how a language changes over time like you may not notice it i mean let's say you know let's say in a hypothetical world you go back to 2010 and talk to your past self or something or you just go into that world you may not really notice the change in the way your language is spoken like for instance if i think of hindi or english or tamil or whatever i wouldn't be able to notice any difference in the way the language is spoken but i i think it would make it would be a bigger difference let's say if you go 33 years 66 years 99 years here we see a jump of like 132 years from 2053 to 1921 so i wonder if uh i mean i can't really understand that much of german i can understand some german but not to the extent like i can like understand english or hindi or something so i wonder if they have in the show uh differences in the way the language is spoken uh between eras i don't think they have but then if they do then please do sort of uh, please do tell because that would be a really fun thing and i uh i mean if this had been english then i would have been able to notice it if there have been any sort of differences but i wish that they do something like that because i mean not a lot of shows have the capacity or the sort of the way the story works to be able to use these many errors in this way that this show has been doing and i feel like you know let's say three seasons in uh, this show has three seasons so like 26 28 episodes how much of this has those many episodes in you would have spent considerable amount of time in all the errors i feel like especially your uh, 53s and 86 so there has i hope that they show some sort of a difference in language or the way it is used from 53 to 2020 so yeah this came to this popped into my mind rap, uh, randomly because i saw claudia and i thought that she was in 2020 by the way the world looked and i wondered if you know all these things yeah Tiedemann. claudia Tiedemann. Eine Frage noch. Warum haben Sie den Namen Ihrer Frau angenommen? Ich verstehe nicht. Ja. Ziemlich ungewöhnlich in der damaligen Zeit. Ja, ja. Hier ist es bestimmt, like, two episodes back or something, right? Tiedemanns haben diese Stadt geprägt. Besonders Reginas Mutter. Regina hat keine Geschwister. Wir wollten den Namen am Leben behalten. Okay. I guess that does make sense. Köder. Alexander Köhler. Der Priester. Weißt du, wer das ist? Ja, das ist Noah. Das ist Noah. And he's actually standing beside Agnes, who is his sister. Now that, that yeah, that makes more das sense. Ist And it actually also makes sense that uh, this photo is from 1920 or something like that, right? Wait, does that make sense? I mean, I thought it made sense because, you know, we just saw Noah and Agnes with, you know, Jonas traveling back to 1921. I, I thought that it made sense that they were in the photo, but then it doesn't make sense because they were adults in the photo. So I guess it's a photo taken through time travel and not really because they grew up there or something. I don't know. I paused for a completely different reason and ended up saying something entirely different. Zu Sigmundus. Zu den Reisenden. Den Reisenden? Also die Reisende. Okay. Sigmund also die Reisende. Reisende. He is knowledgeable. That, that's a question that everybody should be asking themselves. Why would you want to go, go to a place where literally everybody has been disappearing? Ich interessiere mich für die Stadtgeschichte. Okay. Kann ich Artikel und Veröffentlichungen der letzten 30 Jahre finden? Das ist alles digitalisiert. Oh. 
or she doesn't know what the chitta is. <laughs> Oh boy, this is what I'm talking about. I mean, I talked about the language changing. I mean, this is culturally everything changing, right? So, I mean, she wouldn't know what a, what like big databases mean and stuff like that. I wonder if she even knows how to operate a computer. I guess she had a computer then. So I guess she would know how to operate a computer, I guess. But then she wouldn't be able to sort of use Google search, for instance. I guess. Or touch screen for that matter. Yeah, she's searching for a keyboard <laughs> and a mouse. <laughs> oh boy, this is, yeah, this is fun. Wait, that's Thea? Okay, you're supposed to also tell that it's a touch screen and tell the person. Or I guess Claudia can see how she is operating. <laughs> Did she? <laughs> oh, she's tapping the screen so hard. But the real question I have is, was the person who was sitting behind her Thea from Arrow? Because I thought it looked like her for some reason. Sonderkommission. Haben Sie das freiwillig ausgesucht? Oh ja. Das habe ich. Wohin fahren wir, Charlotte? Oh boy, this is going to take some explanation. Or explaining. Guck mal, Charlotte, wohin fahren wir? Es ist einfacher zu erklären, wenn ich dir zeige. Ja, yeah, I guess that's true. Noch einer. Wer bist denn du? Bist du ihr Neuer? Uh, no. That, that would be weird. Ihr Sohn. That's more like it. Oh, I expected that. Oh, this is... Oh, this is gonna be so bad. And I understand why she laughed, because like... You know, when you have been through so much shit, like so much difficulties and sort of, you know, sorrow and stuff like that, you know, people kidnap and all those type of things. Like, there comes a point where, like, if you face some ridiculous proposition or difficulty or something, the only thing you can do is laugh at it because you're just done. You're just done. That's it. You're just done. So like, I laugh because you know it, I found it funny that how how to not explain to somebody about time travel. Tell them that you are their grandson. Way to go. Especially a way to tell somebody that you are their grandson especially it's a problem when that person thinks that you are if you are who you say you are you are just a person who is the friend of your son who also happens to be your grandson like that's just wow that's just like classic time travel issues <laughs> okay who is there noah Claudia? If it's Noah, they are fucked. It's Bartosz! Oh, this is gonna be... Oh, this is going to be trouble. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so Jonas is trying to travel back to 2020 or some time period other than 21, I'm guessing. But uh, is the tunnel even working right? Like, is it even working right now? Like, didn't we see in the first episode that they were just building the tunnel at that point of time? Which happened to be Noah and some other guy who just died. 
So, is it even working now? Uh, no, it's not. There is no like the sort of sort of a wind sort of sound that used to be like sort of air pressure or something. I'm right, right? Like it's not working. Or is it? Uh, it's blocked. So it's not working. Yeah, because the tunnel isn't finished building yet. So like, it's not even operational, right? You know this, you're stuck in 21. Get used to it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, hit the wall and then get used to it because there is no option. I guess this is where Eunice grows up to be the stranger that we see because, you know, it sort of fits the profile. Because if he grows up, let's say, about 33 years, then he would get to 1954-1953. And at that point of time, the tunnel would be functioning. And he would be able to go to 2019. He wouldn't be able to go to 2020 because the tunnel isn't working in 2020. But then he'll at least be able to go to 2019, which is at least, you know, some sort of a consolation, I'm guessing. And I guess that's why we see him in the first season, like second episode or something. Because uh, that's, I guess, when he's sort of ready to sort of time travel into, you know, this place and, you know, do all the things that he has that we have seen him do. I think I am talking sense, right? Like if Jonas grows up 33 years more, if he stays in 21 and stays till 1953, then he would be about the same age as the guy that we see as the stranger in season one, episode two onwards. Yeah, that fits. That fits. Wait, what? You can't leave him there. I mean, at the end of the day, he was your friend like few months back. That... What? That's, that's preposterous. What? You can't leave him there. Okay, that's just pure... Uh, that's just your... Your cruel. Like, honestly. Wow. Wow, that's cold. I can't believe they are doing this. Yeah, what happened to your eye? Like, you have been having this eye patch for two seasons now. At some point of time, they have to tell what happened to his eye. Okay. Okay. But... They don't tell anyone else. Wait, did he just like fall or something? Like, uh, honestly, what did he do? Letzten Sommer ist folgendes. Um. Wait, what? The guy has one eye and he's not even concentrating with that one eye that he has on driving. And that's his Claudia just running away. Wait, they're not going to stop her? Interessant. Yeah, that is interesting, but then why wouldn't you stop her? I mean, I guess they won't know that that's Claudia, so why would they stop her? Okay, she's looking at old school records of Mikhail, or I mean Mikhail, but then what is she hoping to find? Oh, the class photo. They have the class photo of a class that existed 33 years ago? Wow. Who is they? Sigmundus? Wer wartet auf mich? Sigmundus. The group, like. Du willst auch nach Hause. Das sagen sie jedenfalls. Wait, so is this 86? 
Okay, I'm going to pause because I wanted to talk about that. So Claudia, last episode, I think she time traveled. I remember her seeing uh, Regina who, you know, had lost her hair. She obviously had cancer at the point and she saw that and was crying. And then in this episode, we have seen her go to her nuclear power plant where she has learned that Alexander is the guy who is running the plant now and that Alexander is married to Regina and that, you know, she also went to the digital library to get more information about the town's history or rather her own family history. And after all of that, she has come back to 86. So like, how does she even sort of, I don't know. I thought that she would be doing something in this episode, like, you know, doing something. But it felt like it almost like, you know, she was just sort of testing the waters, like she was just going 33 years into the future and seeing how the world looked like, you know, how a normal person would probably use time travel. I guess, go back or go forward in time, whichever way, and look at your own family, sort of, the people that you know, I guess. Okay, we have a song. And we are seeing Parthos like this. I honestly feel bad for the guy, but then, you know, I, yeah, that, that, that decision that, you know, Martha and... Wait, should I mute the song? Like, I've just gotten into this practice of muting songs, but I feel like they're going to be copyrighted. I might as well, like, dispute them because I'm going to be talking over them anyways. I guess I will mute them because, you know, something interesting might happen and I might want to show it or talk about it. Uh, yeah, talking of Barthos, I do feel bad for the guy and I could not understand for the life of me how they made a decision like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's the end of the song. Oh, that was a beautiful song. I mean... <laughs> It was so beautiful that at one point of time, I changed the subtitles from English to English CC because I wanted to see the lyrics. Uh, and I of course changed back to English because I've heard people say that the English version of the subtitles is better. I don't know why it's better, but I know that it's better for some reason. Uh, so yeah, uh, nothing extraordinarily sort of groundbreaking happened with that song. So I don't think I'm going to include any of it in the reaction. Uh, the, I mean, when I say reaction, I mean the video that I'm going to upload, uh, but, you know, a few sort of things that I did notice, like, you know, uh, there was a scene in the starting of the episode where Francisca sort of mentioned that their parents haven't been to home, like, for two days, and going by the looks of things, it has been three days now, so, yeah, I, 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 for some reason, I sort of felt that it was a completely... I won't say ridiculous, but then, you know, sort of weird thing to do, like not even give any sort of information uh, or, you know, anything of the sort and just, just disappear from your kids' lives, especially in a situation like this where, you know, people are disappearing and, you know, one of you happens to be a police, which means you're anyways in a dangerous sort of job. Uh, and the other guy is a, even though he's a psychologist, if I'm not mistaken, or a psychiatrist, I don't know. That was, that was weird. Uh, and of course, the other thing uh, uh, that was pretty much evident, I mean, one thing that had did happen was Noah was sort of taking Jonas through multiple doors and stuff uh, to meet Adam, I'm guessing. But the one thing that sort of, yeah, it was kind of difficult to watch. Not so difficult, but then sort of difficult in the grand scheme of things was Claudia sort of, the Claudia, I mean, middle aged Claudia sort of walked into her house in 86, 87, uh, and there was Regina who was sleeping on the couch. And yeah, and the way Claudia was looking at Regina, it was sort of, you know, it was basically a parent looking at her child, knowing that the child would eventually have cancer and die. So, you know, that was sort of difficult. But then nevertheless, it's going to be the end of the episode, so I might not, I don't want to extend this any further.
Buch? Wer hat das geschrieben? That's a very good question. I never really thought of it. Who wrote the bloody book? Wer auch immer es geschrieben hat. Who wrote the book? Zukunft und Vergangenheit bereits gesehen. So he doesn't know who wrote it? Or is he not telling him who wrote it? Der Körper ist auf Dauer nicht dafür geschaffen. Okay. I guess yeah, that would make sense. I mean, if you time travel a lot, I guess you would be... Was you would have a lot of radiation and stuff that you would need along the way. That would make sense why his face is so well, scarred. Well. Kannst du dir das nicht denken? What? Who is he? Wait, what? No. Wait, what? Ich bin du. How does that work? Jeder Stein ist wieder da, wo er hingehört. Jeder an seinem Bestimmungsort. Es fehlt nur noch ein kleiner Schubs. No. Wait, what? Adamus Jonas. I mean, that's my theory out of the window then. I mean, I was talking about how Jonas was going to grow up to be the stranger in 1953 and begin time traveling again. But that's not going to happen because we have already seen... Well, wait, what? So, is Adam like 33 years older than Stranger, you know? Oof, okay. Well, that makes things interesting. I was going to talk about how this episode had sort of... I don't know. It, it seemed like a lot of things were happening. Uh, and this was a very good episode. I mean, it kept the tension on. But for some reason, I have written only like four or five points. Like, I don't know why that is the case. But that is the case. And yeah, I'm going to talk about it. But then Adam is Jonas. So Noah is working with that. Noah is working with Jonas. Which means Noah was... And Noah and Stranger on different teams. Like, how does that even work? Like, so wait, Stranger also should know that Adam is Jonas, right? Because Stranger is 33 years older than Jonas, which means he has obviously lived through all of this. Which means Stranger knows that Adam is Jonas or himself. So, wait a second. So this guy and his... <laughs> I think I, I find this funny to even sort of mention this this way, but then a guy and his younger self are in sort of a time war against their older self. Like, how does that even work? And, if, and this show has sort of maintained this sort of a closed loop thing where everything is as it always has been sort of a storyline. Then whatever these two people do, when I say these two, I mean are owners and stranger, they are going to end up being Adam. Then what the hell are they fighting? Like, I don't get it. Okay, so that's why, but then that makes even less sense now. Like, I was just going to say that, you know, we had stranger mention something about a, a loophole. Wait, have I written that down? Yeah, I have written that down. Uh, so, 
uh, Stranger was talking to, you know, in the bunker to Charlotte and, you know, Peter and Hannah. And he said that, you know, if somebody asked him why he was here. And he said that, you know, Adam told me something about there being a loophole. And here I am to exploit it. And I thought, yeah, that makes sense. Because still now we haven't seen any sort of, we have seen a lot of time travel. But then we haven't seen any changes to the main timeline, if, you know there was a main timeline uh and if we consider this timeline as the main timeline that we have been seeing from season one episode one till now then there hasn't been any changes to it everything that has happened has happened before like that sort of a thing and i thought the loophole was the way that they're going to have time being rewritten but if adam was against Stranger and these two are supposed to be in two different sort of teams, then why would you believe Adam? Because whatever Adam is saying has to be something that it's like if I was competing against some other guy, then I wouldn't tell the other guy some sort of a, you know something that's going to give him or her an edge over me. Like I don't know that this whole thing is confusing now. Okay, I have to first of all, I mean, I'm going to follow structure here because without structure, I'm, well, I can't work right now because everything is confusing. So I have written down some points and I do remember some things that happened in this episode. Um, first of all, I need to search what POW is because I have a feeling that I should know it, but then I don't know it. So what is POW? Prisoner of war. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. That does make sense because, um, I have a feeling I'm lagging. Oh, this is bad. Wait, I can't pause my recording. Oh, this is bad. Okay. This is very bad. Anyways. Uh, I think I'm going to stop the recording now because for some reason the video is lagging. So I'm going to talk about all these points that I have, you know, written down here in the next episode's reaction, which is what I'm going to do in like, now that I think about it, it's going to be a difficult task, but I'm going to do it in a couple of minutes. I'm going to start that. So I'm going to talk about it there because I have a feeling this is lagging. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this reaction. I mean, I'm sorry, but I can't talk about this episode now because I mean, I still can see myself uh, and I have a feeling that it's coming delayed, like there's a latency. So, okay, I will talk about these things in the next episode reaction. So, you know, do stay tuned for that because that will be up on the channel like about a day or two after the episode four reaction is up. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.